Hi, my name is John Garfield. This is Two Minutes on Initiative. How do we find the balance between revelation or, or knowing God's heart and wisdom, which is my initiative to do what the Father's doing? Let me share a story with you. When I was young in the Lord, I would wait for the Lord to tell me what to do. And if anything went wrong, I assumed it was presumption and I was disobedient and I felt terrible. And what I've learned is that it's okay to take initiative and make a mistake. God doesn't give us revelation for every detail. He expects us to use wisdom and make mid-course corrections with common sense and the counsel of friends. <laughs> so the truth is that maturity is carrying a balance between wisdom and revelation and understanding the difference. Revelation is God's part. We hear His voice and respond. Breakthroughs in understanding or miraculous manifestations, healing, deliverance, etc. God takes a step and we respond. But wisdom, or the spirit of wisdom, is our part. In other words, we're free to act on it at our own initiative. And the result is creativity, Come with new, coming up with new ideas, craftsmanship. Uh, we take a step and God responds. So Ephesians 1.17 says, I keep asking that the God of the Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. So Father, I'm giving men and women permission to take initiative and make mistakes. It's okay. <laughs> you will not fall off the throne. And Lord, we're listening for your voice and at the same time feeling the freedom to make wise decisions and pursue the passions you put in our hearts. Thank you, Father, that you've chosen to co-labor with us and you include us in building your kingdom here on earth. We're delighted and we commit ourselves to taking initiative. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.